Hey folks, welcome back. So what am I cooking up today? Well, just like in Vanquish Soul Snake Eyes, I decided to try it out in Pendulums. And what better to try it out than in Draco Slayers? <laughs> Why not? But yeah, uh, so it's really fun and I'm well aware that certain cards like Original Sinful and whatnot will not allow you to send Pendulum because Pendulum, they don't go to your graveyard, they go to the extra deck. So that's why you don't see things like Droplet and Pendulum and whatnot. But here, it's all for fun. But right now, I, as you can see, it's right now Snake Eyes stuff at the moment. And what I'm trying to do is actually play around the Biru because if they nip early, I really don't care. I still have access to my, uh, my Draco Slayer stuff. So it's just essentially an extra engine similar to what I did in Vanquish Soul, just to play around more. Because we know that Pendulum, they struggle quite a bit in terms of getting things going or well, get things going when they when they're going second it's harder to really come back from that however just be forewarned i you do time out quite a bit with this deck so just a heads up <laughs> but anyway yeah as you see the opponent is going to nib me here thinking that it's still with snake eyes when they should realize that it's pendulum because i did ascend revolution so now because i drew the charge off of the uh, wanted i'm able to just access my plays so luster and then charge activate sad back to miss and now here you just see me full combo into of course my pendulum stuff <laughs> which is so dumb but hey it works it works right this is technically full combo if it was hand charge, why not you really wouldn't see me go full combo like this but yeah, unfortunately, things happen later in the sequence. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is a prototype, right? This is a prototype tool right now. So this was first trial in terms of experimenting with certain ratios. So there was no cross shipping stuff in this version. Um, but yeah, just be forewarned that do you will time out. But yeah, anyway, right now it's just full combo. I did want to Paladin. So like later on in duel, you, you won't seem going to Paladin because I decided to take it out due to the fact that the extra deck is just way too tight on cards. It's just ridiculous, so I don't recommend this whatsoever. <laughs> but anyway, there's a lecture my and I'm not searching Astrograph here because there's no need to search Astrograph due to the fact that this is just, you know, Draco Slayer, they don't really need to utilize Astrograph as often because of already full combo yada 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 right front revolution off of sky iris and then uh i make of course Celine to access my uh, pen sword. but um of course typically i would search sky iris for revolution but because of this search temples and i did open sky iris you're not going to see me do this as often so it a little gets it does get a little wonky as you progress in the combo sequence and then I make, of course, the, uh, what was it? The Zeo, right? To reset the field. So right now it's just standard uh, Draco Slayer stuff that you would see me do, except without the Astrograph. <laughs> and unfortunately here, my forewarning, I timed out. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this, this combo is just way too hectic. It's such a long combo and I just like, yeah, I just ran out of time. So, and you're gonna see that quite often throughout the rest of this video, but uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna time out after some Vortex here. Yeah, I think I timed out here. Oh, right, I forgot to mention that last replay was from stream. Unfortunately, stream was quite laggy, so I was just demoing there. But anyway, as you can see here, the Pon Maximi. I ash it of course. This is technically full combo, just keep in mind. But however, because of the Veiler, full combo is dead. <laughs> so it's no longer full combo, but it would have been full combo if it was not for the Veiler or Infirm if they had it. So yeah, so now that I'm forced to fusion just so that I can access my uh, Snake Eyes play because I do have Snake Sinful. And just like I said earlier, because it's a Pendulum deck, Pendulum do not go in a graveyard, so I needed a regular effect monster. So now I have Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash is gonna have Poplar, and then Poplar is just gonna, you know, typical Snake Eye stuff. As the Temple, Temple is gonna give me Oak instead of Flamberge, because I wanted to utilize Oak instead. 
with Plumberge. Because I'm only playing one of one, just like in Vanquish Soul Snake, guys. I put Vortex in the back row, then I link those two off to make Ivy Mask Arena, and then this will force trigger Flamberge to special summon the Oak plus uh, another name. It does not matter here because their effects are all used up. And I'm only using one of one of each, so yeah. So unfortunately there was a Nibiru. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but you would have just ended off with Princess, Ivy Mask Arena, and then of course Princess goes into Awful Whale. But anyway, <laughs> back to the opponent. Now here I was trigger happy because I forgot that my Vortex was a double disruption. Its first effect when special summon is to bounce, and its second effect of course is to negate. So I got really trigger happy here, so I threw the match like whatever, but <laughs> this was all experimental. They Psyche, so at this point I knew they were playing uh, Exosister or Math Mech, and they were playing Math Mech. So here I should have, like I said, should have waited it out, and then bounce it before they could activate that effect. Yeah, here I could just bounce it if I did that, but the tactics and I could have negated with the vortex instead, putting them in a really awkward situation. Even if they did get to draw one off of Maxi, unfortunate. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just GG. All right, so for the second match, you want to know what it looks like going uninterrupted full combo. This is uninterrupted full freaking combo. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, this is right now standard. Uh, Draco Slayer stuff, except I searched temples and discarded Snake Eyes, the dragon thing. <laughs> and then I used the original Sinful to go into Oak. Oak is now going to give me Ash, and then Ash is going to use its effect to add me to Poplar, and then Poplar is going to special summon, and then, well, that's really about it <laughs> because there's nothing left. And then I linked into, of course, uh, Princess, <laughs> princess. Because the reason I was linking to princess is I was scouting for Nibiru, so this is like extra before I go into my actual pendulum play. So yeah, I am playing around Nibiru. So after the princess summon, it was confirmed they didn't have any Nibirus or any hand traps. So this is just full on combo. I just make the ample whale, so I'm not fire locked, and then go right into Beyond. Beyond is now just going to go right into what I need, which is the one scale monkey board for the pendulum sorcerer search. Anyway, I pen here and then it's just regular pen stuff. So as you see here, I did not bother searching Astro again because I did not need to. Instead, I just searched the thing I need to search, which is the Revolution to extend the uh, Draco Slayer Ignister into extra bodies. So it still does a similar uh, comboing for the end board, except I'm not really utilizing that standard pendulum type of play that you commonly see people uh, use with Electromite like Astrograph and uh, Electromite here. So it still ends on something as you'll see later on, but yeah.
as you can see, I was running low on time, so unfortunately, <laughs> it is a very long combo. I only have about like 30-ish seconds left after the, uh, something hope. So I could have ended on IP if I wanted to, but unfortunately, it's just time pressure and whatnot. So anyway, I passed the opponent, and at this point, I think they just surrendered. Yeah, they just surrendered. All right, so on to the deck list. Just be forewarned, this is by no means meta so if you don't have to spare you are just to try this out for fun i don't recommend this it's just me experimenting and it is expensive due to the fact that both the draco slayer names specifically phoenix and pegasus are not in a exclusive secret pack so you have to craft them and that in itself is really a lot of URs. um and of course uh the wanted package is about to expire soon so again if you don't have the spare URs I just don't try this it's just, yeah but anyway if you want if you still want to give it a go sure I'll, I'll give you the name now so it's just basically one ash uh, one oak one poplar your standard triple maxi triple ash of course with the call by uh the one diabella star the one flamberge the one the biru uh synchron triple bambuku the one pensorg the double luster the triple phoenix and of course the triple pegasus plus the tri uh, triple might and then the one monkey board one astrograph one dissolver triple revolution one reinforcement one tactics uh, one original sinful one skyers uh one temples one charge uh, or, uh, and then the triple wanted All right that's just basically the main deck um, and then the extra deck is the one vortex the one dino stir the one ignis stir the one balloon the one hope the one electromite hyper mascarena crashy beyond celine princess flam <laughs> amlo whale apalooza zeal and then the underworld so as you notice from my replays, certain cards didn't really come up as much, such as Sky Iris and Astrograph. Uh, so those are options you can remove just to try and cut back on 45, but that's really it on my end. If you have any questions or anything, just leave it in the comment. I'll try my best to answer them when I can, and that's really it. So take care now. All right, bye.